Hockey is a sport loved by many all across the Northland. Now a new mandate for next season could keep players safer. This comes after the tragic death of Hibbing native and former UMD hockey player Adam Johnson back in October. Northern News Now's Taryn Simmons heard from a current Hibbing player about his thoughts on the new requirement. These lockers are empty now but will be filled by the end of this year with varsity hockey players. Players like Tyler Rotsey, all of them wearing mandatory neck guards. Once more people started wearing them, then other people just followed. After the tragic death of former Hibbing hockey player Adam Johnson, the National Federation of State High School Associations announced the mandate that all Minnesota high school hockey leagues will require players to wear protective neck guards at all times. Rotsey, who played hockey for the past 13 years, has already been wearing a neck guard of his own. Uh, I think it'll take the scare out of like an open neck. I mean, it'll add safety to your neck. He thinks the new mandate is a good addition to what can be a dangerous sport. According to the rule, if a player enters a game without wearing a neck guard or it comes off during a game, the player will be sent to the bench. They are allowed to return once it's on to ensure their safety. Aaron Jamnick, assistant hockey coach of the Hibbing Blue Jackets, who was close with Johnson when he played for the Hibbing High School, says that the new mandate will help prevent any more tragedies like this from happening again. He says he already noticed teams begin to wear the neck protection even before the mandate. Most of the high school kids this year did wear them. Uh, most of the youth players did wear them. And I uh, talked to a lot of the guys and they, it's, you know, it was no problem at all. It didn't affect much, and they said it was pretty comfortable. The new mandate will be required for all players during the start of the 2024 hockey season in November. In Hibbing, I'm Terrence Simmons, Northern News Now. Taryn, thank you. According to a statement by the NFHS, this rule change aligns the federation and league safety measures with governing bodies, such as USA Hockey, to ensure the health and safety of all participants.